Hello, you glorious gazobos, and welcome back to some StarCraft 2 visual novel. And uh, last episode, we had a show. Well, we partied the, the night before, and then we woke up to find out that Excel, Mr. Big Balls himself, leaked all of the information, potentially screwed up the contract deal that would get the team even funded. So then Jet and me had to show up and like talk our way out of the issue just to have our own our own skill question. Yeah, that's right. And then Jet decided to actually be a cool person, support us. But now it's time. Remember when I said it's anime showdown time, like way back when with that one bolt, the emo looking guy, the guy that kind of looks like Sasuke, if I remember right. So we lost to him. Dad, Sad news, we did. But, but, it's anime redemption time. This is like Final Valley. We're Naruto. This man is Sasuke. It's about to go down in like a week. But so, uh, yeah. All right. As it, as it, as is expected. For, of anyone that wears my team colors. But oh, come on, before someone mistakes Excel for a bum. Just before the elevator closes, Mr. Kim turns the corner of the office and watches us go. God damn, that man. Terrifying. My legs are sore by the time we make it back to Nam Namdan. Weeks of huddling up in my apartment obviously haven't been great for my personal fitness. I catch sight of Stunt by his wild hair. He's the first to notice Jet and me and calls us with a wave. Yo! Is the team dead? Not yet, and not for a while, if our plan works. Bell sits from his reclined position. Oriva has hardly, hardly moved at all since the, she came into view. Plan? Match is going to win a show match. Riva takes hold of her glasses, ears visibly turning in her head. As she works uh, at the point of a show match, Excel and Stunt simply look at me for the answer. Mr. Kim agreed to sponsor us if we can redeem the team's image. I have to win a series against Bolts. Bolts? That surly proto Son Shock? The Brood War player, though. He plays StarCraft 2 on his own time. With money and the chance to embarrass a foreigner on the line, he has to accept. You're okay with this man? So glances in my direction, genuine concern etched in his expression. He seems to be picking up on the doubt I'm feeling. Yeah, of course I am. I'm going to practice as hard as I can for the next week. As will Bolt. I don't have anything to say to that. She's right after all. Five of us take a moment to reflect on the severity of the situation. Gradually, I find the eyes of my teammates drifting towards me. I wipe the sweat from my neck and steady myself with a breath. I'm sure that I can handle this, but not on my own. I require the power of friendship. Obviously. Listen, if he's Protoss, I'm down to grind out endless games. You and me match. Bolt's plays are more in-depth than proxies and one base all-ins. Do you have a better idea? What the hell would she get out of practicing the Terran or a Zerg? Stunt pulls out his phone and dons a stubborn expression. Jet rolls her eyes and glances past him. Everyone has a role to play in making sure that this team lives on as a botched show match. Stunt may he winces and then glances begrudgingly in the young Protoss direction. Be the only one of us that plays Protoss enough to spar with match. But this is still a group effort. Excel, get to test out your coaching chops. Oh, you get to. He raises a thumb up without bothering to stand. God damn. Okay, hold on. I feel like this man went from like slightly like 
the... Oh, I'm trying to think. These become like, I don't know, the, the Kakashi. I don't know why I'm going on like Naruto, but Kakashi of the team. We're team seven. This is my uh, the, the guy, except he's not the captain, but still. All right. I say this. I say this because he he's like this badass, right? He's supposed to be like, like this badass, but he's not like invincible, right? But then at the same time, he shows up and he's about to teach us how to be a badass, but he's also kind of like laid back and it's like, it's all right. But then next thing you know, Shidori, hand through your chest and you've died. Yeah. This will be compared to Nara for apparently the entire series now. You know it. Revo, work with Match on opening and strategies and I'll see what I can get my hands on. What I can do to get my hands on a few of Bolt's replays. Affirmative. We don't have any time to waste. Bolt's going to be prepping for a match with a KPGA regiment. You think you can handle 14 hours a day match? I don't need to practice long. I just need to practice smart. You need to do both. Yeah, she's right. It's only for a week anyway. The idea of 14 hours of high level StarCraft is enough to make my wrist sore. Still, I have to live up to my team's expectations. Alright. Do we start tonight? Obviously. Uh. That stares at him enough for him to spit it out. Kind of, maybe, sort of promised my mom that I'd make up all the chores that I've been skipping out on on our PC bang. Look. I thought the team was definitely over, okay? We're StarCraft players. Don't pretend like you guys don't know the importance of time efficiency. I need to start smoothing things over with her if I'm gonna move out. Come on, don't look at me like that. Useless. Whatever. We'll meet up at Golden Zone Fire tomorrow and every day after that until show match. Match? Just ladder. Right. Riva, you free? Yes, why do you ask? Go with Madge and watch her ladders for the rest of the day. See if you can pick up any holes in her play. Very well. But, uh, I've got to go and confirm the schedule with Bolt, among other things. With me, Excel. Should have guessed. Alright then. Don't, don't handle your bullshit. Don't fire. Tomorrow morning. Everyone, go. Excel peels himself off the bench and falls in line beside Jet. Stunt is quick to uh, follow, though he turns out of the park in a different direction. I was actually planning on going back to my apartment if I'm just going to ladder. Oh, should I return home? Oh no, why wouldn't... Why don't you meet me there in uh, an hour? You won't need to stay long. Very well, I will see you in an hour. After sharing the location of my apartment with a map from my phone, I bid her farewell. Riva fades along with the green of N Namdan when I trace back the path I took this morning. My glazed over eyes remain locked on the pavement as I amble my way home. I know that I should feel relieved that our team still has a chance of coming together, but I can't help but worry. I'm not carrying around the weight of my failed attempts to qualify VCL anymore. This is different. It's anxiety, a tightness in my chest that threatens to strangle me if I let everyone down. I don't know what I expected. Not like this is going to get any easier from here anyway. Every week in Team League, there will be a chance to cost my team a loss. More than anything else, I'm frustrated by Mr. Kim's doubt. It's one thing for my friends and parents to misunderstand me, but for Mr. Kim to make an uninformed judgment that I'm not worth the trouble, I, jaw, I jam my fist into my pockets and excel deeply. If I ever doubted that esports was brutal, I don't any longer. Short as the walk is, I don't find my nerves calm, uh, calming as I settle into my face. A pack of energy drinks might help me douse my angst, so I decide to cut a detour that will take me past Go Mart. 
I should probably pick up something for Reva too. It'd be a it'd be a pretty classless move to make her watch me grind out ladder games without offering anything in return. My older brother used to always make me watch his and him play games back when we were kids. This is different though. She's not watching me for fun. She's watching me to tell me how badly I suck. Bang. I suck too. I brushed past another customer on my way to Gomart, glanced towards the register. Mr. Yeon, 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 I think. Smiles in my direction, but then immediately walks to the back of the room. I don't waste time browsing and head straight for the refrigerator. By the time I'm done shopping, Mr. Yeon comes out from the back of the room with a brown box and hands in hand and makes his way to the register. Set my bottles and cans down on the counter and offer the old man a nod. Hello, is this all for today? In a rush, are we? Uh, no. Not really why. With... With word that I won't run off, Mr. Yeon's wide smile and hoist the box up onto the counter, pushing aside my drinks in the process. I blink, dumbfounded, before I can ask what he's doing. He clicks the latch and op uh, opens. He clicks and opens a latch and reveals a wooden board on the underside. What? He flips it up. Sets the box between us and places it where a customer might expect to have their groceries rung up. A cloth stack rests inside of the game board, the contents of which clack against one another. On he pulls an object out of the bag and shows it to me. Have you ever played Go? Go, uh, the board game played mostly in Asia, held in esteem with similar to chess, without. Meaning to, I asked the first question on my mind. Uh, is this because I told you about my pro gaming career? Let's just say, I wouldn't be showing it to you if you didn't. We'll go over the rules and play around, just one, and my whim will be satisfied. Um, alright. This is strange, but if I want to keep shopping at GoMart, turning down Mr. Yeon will make future interactions comfortable especially since i fully believed that this man is a reptilian in disguise secretly pretending to be reva and then actually like learning and manipulating this entire world because he's actually this om omnipotent sentient being that's like mass destructive because look at those eyes those cold dark eyes i don't know what i just fucking said Better for one extremely awkward game of Go than an infinite amount of semi-awkward trips to the convenience store. Mr. Yeon pours the contents of the bag into a pair of wooden bowl, uh, of wooden cut set beside the board. On closer inspection, they appear to be worn and scratched up. The board itself isn't in great condition either. The corners are chipped, and its lacquer is long faded. Even though I've never played, I'm from familiar, familiar with the premise of Go. Mr. Yoon explains the basic rules thoroughly either way. The main objective is to control and cap, uh, capture as many of this uh, capture base by surrounding your opponent's pieces. It's not unlike StarCraft in that sense. There's only advantage and quick fingers. Even if I'm aware of the basics, I don't have the faintest clue about the game strategy. So, uh, what is this supposed to accomplish? Once Mr. Yeon has finished explaining the rules, he motions towards my stones. Black takes the first move. You may begin whenever you are ready. Okay, for the record, I have no idea what I'm doing here. That's alright. Play on instinct. Hard to... Hide the confusion I'm feeling, but I agree and shuffle a handful of black stones in my uh, direction anyway. But the point of Go is to control space. It seems like a good idea to form some sort of basic structure that I can play off of later. But not five turns into the game, Mr. Yon 
begins placing his pieces dangerously close to mine. When I look up from the board, he answers me only with a smile. Soon he begins capturing my stones relent with relent relentless efficiency, never allowing me to challenge his position when I'm so f uh, focused on protecting my own. I fight back to defend my own territory, but the clerk's plan is always a step ahead. I fix the board with an, uh, an intense stare, certain that I can somehow unlock the intricacies of Go by demanding it, uh, demanding it of myself. When the board is halfway full, it becomes readily apparent that I'm going to lose. Mr. Young glances from the board with a raised eyebrow, smile up for present. Would you care to stop? I don't mean to keep you for too long. No, oh, it's fine. Let's finish. After turning down the chance to concede, it feels appropriate that I somehow stage an amazing comeback, but the beatdown only continues. Towards the end of the match, Mr. Young manages to capture more than half of my stones in a single move. My displeasure makes itself apparent with a groan. I, diver I deliver my last few turns to the board. Hard enough to echo a clack through the storm, Mr. Yeon scratches his in casually, scanning the carnage he wrought upon my pieces. Hmm. I don't see any possible move. I pass. I pass too. That means game over, right? That's correct. I release the breath I've been holding in. Believed. So glad to live in an era where video games exist. The old man replaces his set of go in the bag and box, clears the counter of our diversion. Yet instead of reaching for my drinks in to scan, he sets his eyes on me. You play to avoid losing. I feel a frown form on my face. Exactly am I getting a lesson on an eastern board game? From a cashier? I don't say anything, so he continues. Specifically, you play to avoid the pain of loss. It's clear to see that w to see when you have time out. It's clear to see when you have no learned habits or memorized strategies. There's nothing inherently long wrong with playing this way, but you should be aware of the fact. I'm a firm believer that games showcase the person showcase personality in its purest form. Was this whole thing a, to share some wisdom? Couldn't think of any other way to bring up. I said that with more disrespect than I should have. Nevertheless, Mr. Yeon's slight a uh, slight smile doesn't fall. Perhaps, perhaps I'm just looking for conversation. You didn't quit when I gave you the chance. That's good. But you can only go so far without playing the win. Starcraft isn't so different from Go. I know that because life isn't so different from Go. Drive to win match, not not lose. I don't understand. Try to. It's an important lesson. A serious glint flickers across Mr. Yeon's face for a fraction of a second when it's gone. He looks no different than before. There's no one else that moves those drinks on the shelf like you. I'm... I'm incentivized to have you succeed and stick around, you see? He lets out a laugh, one that uh, continues until I smile politely in response. When he's done, Mr. Yeon rings up my drinks and hurries them into a bag. Right, off you go. I won't ask you to play again with unless you'd like to. Um, alright. I lower my head and a bow. Not the type... Not the type to... Oh, God. English is hard, guys. Don't judge me. Not the type reserved for a the near elder owner of them. But at least one to show that I'm thankful. The door rings when I hurry through, leaving Mr. Yeon to endure the sickly linoleum of his store alone.
All right, now that is probably like years later and we've completely abandoned Reva, but we didn't abandon Reva because we were actually just playing Go with Reva. That's right. I know the truth, Mr. Yeon. I know it. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a great time, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye.